They're against steel. They're against, against anything with petroleum, the word petroleum in it. You won't have a country. These people are crazy. At some point, at some point, that's what happens. Jennifer, do you have something, Jennifer? You're working so hard. Do you think that there will be anyone else who leaves your cabinet after the election, sir? So if we have uh, the success, I think we have a, a silent majority, the likes of which has never been seen before. I think you read about it, where 62 percent of the people say they're not even telling the truth on polling, and where the polling is fake, you know, where they do registered voters and where they do many more Democrats than they do Republicans. Same as happened last time. But this year, I think we have much more enthusiasm. Maybe those people back there would understand it better than anybody. But I think there's more enthusiasm for 2020 than there was even for 2016. And 2016 was a record. You found that out. And I believe there's much more enthusiasm now than there was even in 2016. We have a silent majority, the likes of which nobody has seen. I just looked. There are thousands of boats in lakes, rivers, and oceans. Thousands and thousands of boats. It's called Boaters for Trump, Boaters for Trump Pence. There's signs all over. Some of the boats have 10 flags on them. They're incredible. There are thousands. We did nothing to do this. This is just generic. It just happened. Let me just tell you, I think the level of enthusiasm for what we're doing, we want law and order. We want low taxes. They want to raise your taxes. They want to get rid of — they want to have open borders. And they want to defund the police. How do you win on that? They want to go to Texas, and they want to go to Pennsylvania, and they want to stop fracking. And Ohio, they want to stop fracking. They're against steel. They're against, against anything with petroleum, the word petroleum in it. You won't have a country. These people are crazy. Say, go ahead. As far as your cabinet goes, do you think you'll see more turnover in your cabinet? Well, I don't know. I think for next year, I mean, generally speaking, a lot of times I understand when, if we win, a uh, president will ask for the resignation of everybody and then bring back the people he wants. That's happened before, Steve. And I could see something like that happening. I think that makes sense. No, I have a very good cabinet. I mean, with few exceptions. I wouldn't say I'm thrilled with everybody, frankly. But uh, I have, overall, I think we have a very good cabinet. I think this, I will say this, no administration, none, no administration, first three and a half years, has done anywhere near what we've done. 300, we will have at the end of the first term, 300, maybe more, federal judges, including Court of Appeals, two Supreme Court justices. Nobody has done this. If, take, a look at, take a look at what we've done. Uh, the biggest tax cuts in history, biggest regulation cuts in history, rebuilt our military, uh, took care of our vets. We have a 91 percent approval rating from the vets. Nobody's ever had a 91 percent approval rating before. Uh, we — I guarded the Second Amendment. They want to destroy the Second Amendment. Take a look at Kamala. They want to destroy the Second Amendment. And as you know, Joe is, has no control over anybody. He has no control over himself. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.